Good morning, Congress, uh, and uh, I'm the presenter of the topic, the effects of English language learning to use on students' English proficiency. Uh, that, that is okay. Let us get to the next screen, please. I'm just as uh, teacher mentioned that the picture is one is related to what uh, certain strategy used in this my study. It's, it's called the social strategy. Right? You can, you can, uh, and as well, we are having the third discussion. And next, my content includes the introduction to re review, and the last part is the introduction. In introduction, the the, the sub uh, the subtitles has uh, improved two. Uh, one is the teacher centered versus the student centered, and next is the purpose and my research questions of this study. And teacher centered and uh, uh, versus the student centered is the is the shifting from is the shifting of the of the learning because in 2008, a lot of and the scholar uh, in their study they revealed this tradition. The traditional teaching using these teaching methods like taping a video and also uh, many first parts or something like that. Seems that there is no single method that can satisfy every student in the language learning classrooms. Even though in the same level of the classroom, or they will have different level of students. So uh, the spotlight uh, in 2007 in John. Leo and Lee study the uh, statement. The spotlight has shifted from uh, to focus on the diversity of the learners, gender, learning styles, learning strategies, motivation, anxiety, and other personal characteristics. So here comes the, the purpose of, and the research question of my study. And the purpose is to examine the, re the situation of students' learning strategy use. Uh, so the question one is, what is the situation of students learning strategy use? And second, the second is the purpose is to see the effects of grade, gender, and students' English proficiency on the use of students learning strategies. So question two comes up, uh, coming up is the, uh, how do grade, gender, and proficiency affect the use of uh, students learning strategies? Uh, of course, there are other more uh, factors that we affect the use of students learning strategies, but uh, in, in my case, I can see the three stronger effects like uh, great gender and proficiency that they might affect the use of their learning strategy. And next, the part is the uh, most important in my study is the pedagogical purpose, because I want to go through the process of the strategy instruction uh, to know if there is any significant difference on the frequency of the students' use of language learning strategies. And I wa also want to know there is there any signific significant difference on the performances of students' English uh, uh, abilities in listening and reading. And sure you have uh, some questions about why I choose the listening and reading. The next I will explain about that. And Coming up, uh, coming up, the uh, the part I mean is the literature, literature review. Uh, there are four parts. Part one is the strategy inventory of language learning, and next part is the independent variables. And uh, following is the strategy is instruction course, and the last part is comprehensive input hypothesis. And first is the strategy inventory of language learning, S-I-L-F, and it includes two main parts. Uh, the first part is the direct strategies. Uh, it is the, it is the, it's the first situation or the first uh, surrounding step that they face in the first stage when, when they are learning. And there are three categories for the direct strategies. Uh, one is the memory strategies and conversation strategies and cognitive strategies. In the memory strategies, they uh, maybe you face a situation of a problem, you will use uh, you, will, uh, you will use your images and your sounds uh, to review all the, uh, all the things once there. And the conversation stages, uh, you will maybe you will uh, uh, you will use your maybe you uh, sorry, uh, 
now jump to the cognitive stages because in the cognitive stages, you will have the awareness you have. You want to daily uh, plan your, what you have learned in the memory stages. And the common sense says maybe you, you do not uh, truly understand what you have learned. So maybe you will use the gaps, you will get intelligent in your, in your learning. And next the stage of the, of the learning is the internet stages. It's after you're learning all the new things. It, it's category will uh, uh, include the mental cognitive stages and the social stages and affective stages. And the mental cognitive stages means you after learning maybe you will reflect what you have learned and you have to modify your ways to learn and to rearrange or replan what you want to learn. And in the social stages you can use the call uh, 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 to ask the question uh, to call uh, operating learning strategies to make your learning better. And the effective strategies in this uh, category you can to encourage yourself and lower your anxiety in your learning to make your learning more effective. So this is the uh, rough content of the SIRL. And next the inter independent variables, the variables one is the uh, first one is the brain. Um, in 2006, the Zhang and Liu, in their study, they revealed that only the first graders in the vocational college of te technology performed a higher level in the use of social studies. And I also want to, I want to know if it is the same, because in my study, we, we have three graders. So I want to see the same if the effects of the grade it, is like this. And next, the independent uh, variable is gender. Uh, in 1986, after study that uh, the general differences findings today show that in typical language learning stations, females use significantly more learning strategies than males and use them more often. And however, in my case, I, I see something different because uh, maybe they're very, they hurt. Right? So I want to see to uh, to test these results is the same in our study. And in this proficiency, but, uh, there are a bunch of old researchers right, from uh, 1981 to 1986. Uh, they all revealed that successful learners like uh, senior high to university students, even in university foreign language students, employ a wider variety of strategies to improve the performance in language skills. And if these kind of language skills can be improved, maybe it can be imparted into the lower achiever learners. Uh, that's the uh, kind of the purpose of my study. And next is the com comprehensive input hypothesis. It will explain how I choose the two skill or uh, skills, reading and uh, listening and reading. This hypothesis claims that the learners move from I to I plus one by understanding the input that contains I plus one. Uh, simply speaking, I means the formal background knowledge you already have. Or, uh, and the next uh, plus one means the new things you want to learn. Okay, so if the teacher offered uh, enough comprehensible input about about the, the context they want to teach, uh, the, the learners will be ready to learn the content input that contains a plus one. Can you get that? It means so I is for the new and uh, generally speaking, I is for the, the old information or knowledge you already have, but plus one is the new you want to learn. And then and we only talk about input and the other side we are going to talk about the comprehensive output. Because the output is about uh, the output based knowledge of uh, skills is about the uh, speaking and writing. And this is the result of the language acquisition. And uh, for